Hello and thanks for watching this short video. Some big changes to the new QuickBooks Online accountant that has to do with both the wholesale billing platform and how to add your clients that are currently paying for the QuickBooks Online subscription themselves to the firm consolidated bill. And right now, when the firm pays for the client's QuickBooks Online subscription, the promo is 50% off continuously. So it's not really a promo, it's just kind of a new pricing. When you create the company file from QuickBooks Online Accountant and also the firm is gonna pay for it, it's 50% off for the life of the client subscription. And this will also affect and impact all of the client files that you have added to your consolidated bill that were historically 30% off for the life of the subscription. They are all going to be automatically migrated to this 50% off a month for the life of the QuickBooks Online subscription. Now, if your client chooses to set up their own billing and pay with a credit card, you can add them to your consolidated bill because you know that their current offers are really going to be, let's say, 50% off, but it's always just an annual promotion just for that first year. So obviously advantageous to get the 50% off continuously if the firm pays and then you just roll in uh, that cost to your client however you choose to invoice them for the services that you provide. So let's look at the consolidated bill. When you click on the gear icon from the new QuickBooks Online Accountant, I'm going to click on my billing profile. It'll open up a, another window here. And here is the firm's billing information. My next charge date is June 6th. It's monthly. And notice down below that I have some pending client companies. One I just added, uh, the actual client signed up for their own QBO subscription. So they're still paying, but it becomes under my consolidated bill on May 31st. And then I have uh, an existing client that I set up myself. Uh, and the firm is paying for that. And the price is $13.47. Now this is an essentials SKU, right, for QuickBooks Online. So that's 50% off and it's gonna be $13.47. That's gonna go on continuously as long as my client has QuickBooks Online. This is really a huge advantage when you're adding clients to your consolidated bill where the firm is paying using the firm credit card and then you charge the clients how you do uh, from the new QuickBooks Online accountant. And notice you can cancel the client if you want and then the next time they log in they'll have to put in a credit card if for some reason it doesn't work out and they want to take over the billing. But a huge advantage uh, for the firm to pay that 50% off for life of the subscription really cannot be denied. And then of course I could change the subscription here to, to a plus level. Uh, if I wanted to. But how do I add an existing client to my consolidated bill? Now, before I actually move a client subscription and they're paying for themselves or they're just in a free trial and I want to move it under my consolidated bill, I just wanted to open up their file. So here's Martin Guitars uh, and I opened up their file in a new tab and I'm on the manage user screen. In order to add this file to my consolidated bill, I not only am I the account user, but I also have to be the master admin, right? Because the client file is no longer going to have your account option under the your company in the, in the gear icon because firm has taken over the billing, right? So in order for that to happen, you have to be the master administrator. So if you have an existing client file that has been paying for their bill for months or years or what have you, they're probably the master admin. To transfer the master administratorship to yourself, you'll be both that and the account and user. That way, you'll be able to add them to your consolidated bill. And really, the master admin that you will be, it's that same login you use to the new QuickBooks Online account. All right, so once that's set up, I'm going to go ahead and close uh, my client file right now. Now I can click the gear icon and go to Add Clients to Consolidated Bill. Let's go ahead and click Add Clients to Consolidated Bill now. So now we can see here Martin Guitars. Uh, and what clients can you move, though? It's important to know. They must be active, whether they're in a free trial or they're actively paying for their QuickBooks Online subscription. They need to have Essentials or Plus. They need to be in your region. In other words, I'm using QuickBooks Online account in U.S., but there's uh, four other regions, right? Australia, U.K., uh, India and Canada for QuickBooks Online Accountant, they could do this as well. And they cannot have payroll. Okay, it's important to note, and you must be the master administrator. If you're looking to work for a workaround for the, the payroll piece, um, that's the QuickBooks Online payroll, consider doing the payroll for your client using Intuit Online Payroll for accountants, right? QuickBooks Online actually sees that as a third party, but you can still export the transactions into the client QBO file without having payroll turned on in QBO. That way you could add it to your consolidated bill. So as long as these parameters are met, you just click save. 
and I just moved one client to my consolidated bill. Let's go ahead and look at my billing profile under the gear icon. So now I have both Cordoba and Martin Guitars as pending client companies that they're actually going to be under my bill in two days. I'm doing this video on the 29th, so be for the 31st. And of course, the Westerly Guild Dreadnoughts uh, has been on my bill for a while. And uh, that shows the 50% off for life of the subscription. So wholesale billing and adding clients to your consolidated bill. And you want to do this all under the umbrella of the new QuickBooks Online account. Hope that was helpful. Have a great day.